Real analysis is the rigorous foundation of calculus, dealing with real numbers, sequences, and functions. It's where we pin down slippery concepts like limits, continuity, and integrals with precise definitions like the epsilon delta criterion. Imagine trying to prove why a function behaves smoothly without just waving your hands. Real analysis makes that possible. Historically, it emerged in the 19th century when mathematicians like Cauchy and Weierstrass sought to put calculus on solid ground, moving away from intuitive arguments. Key ideas include sequences and series, differentiality, and Riemann integration. It's the backbone for modeling physical systems, from planetary orbits to fluid flow, and it's essential in physics and engineering. Unlike intuitive calculus, real analysis demands precision, which can feel daunting, but gives unmatched clarity. For example, proving the intermediate value theorem ensures a function crosses every value between two points, a cornerstone of many applications. Complex analysis takes calculus into the realm of complex numbers, where functions become surprisingly elegant. A complex number is of the form a plus b, i with i squared equaling minus 1, and we visualize them on a complex plane with real and imaginary axes. Initially doubted by mathematicians for defying real number intuition, complex analysis revealed its power through tools like contour integration and the residue theorem. These allow us to solve integrals that stump real methods, like evaluating tricky trigonometric sums. Developed by giants like Euler and Cauchy, it's vital in signal processing, electrical engineering, and quantum mechanics, where it models waveforms and quantum states. Complex functions, when analytic, behave so smoothly that they unlock a kind of mathematical magic. Think of Euler's formula, e to the power of i times pi equals minus 1, tying exponentials to rotations. Functional analysis. Imagine studying infinite dimensional spaces where functions themselves are the points that's functional analysis. Born in the early 20th century with pioneers like Hilbert and Banach, it generalizes linear algebra to spaces like Banach and Hilbert spaces, equipped with norms or inner products. Key concepts include linear operators, spectral theory, and convergence in these spaces. It's like upgrading from finite vectors to infinite sequences or functions, which is crucial for quantum mechanics and solving partial differential equations. For instance, in a Hilbert space, you can decompose a function into an infinite series, much like Fourier analysis, but more abstract. Its applications span physics, optimization, and even machine learning, where high-dimensional data lives. Functional analysis feels like a leap into abstraction, but it's a powerful lens for modern problems. Harmonic analysis. Harmonic analysis is about breaking signals into waves, like splitting music into its notes. Rooted in Fourier's work in the 1800s, it studies how functions can be represented as sums of sines and cosines. Think Fourier series or transforms. It's a cornerstone of signal processing, where it helps analyze audio or images, and it's key in data compression, like MP3s or JPEGs. Key ideas include convolution, distributions, and singular integrals. Unlike real analysis, it focuses on oscillatory behavior, making it ideal for studying periodic phenomena in physics or engineering. For example, the Fourier transform converts a time domain signal into its frequency components, revealing hidden patterns. It's a bridge between pure math and real-world signals, with a rhythm all its own. Numerical analysis is the art of approximating solutions when exact answers are out of reach. Developed alongside computers in the 20th century, it provides algorithms for problems like solving equations, integrating functions, or simulating physical systems. Think of finding a square root using Newton's method or approximating a curve with splines. Key concepts include interpolation, numerical integration, and solving differential equations numerically. It's the workhorse of scientific computing, used in engineering, weather forecasting, and machine learning. Unlike pure analysis, it embraces error as a fact of life, focusing on accuracy and efficiency. Fourier analysis, a subset of harmonic analysis. Fourier analysis zooms in on representing functions as sums of waves, using Fourier series and transforms. Pioneered by Joseph Fourier in the 1800s, it's the go-to tool for dissecting signals in time or space. The fast Fourier transform revolutionized digital signal processing, enabling real-time audio and image analysis. Key ideas include convolution, Parseval's theorem, and frequency domains. It's used in telecommunications, audio compression, and even medical imaging, like MRI scans. For example, applying an FFT to a noisy signal reveals its dominant frequencies, cleaning up the chaos. Fourier analysis is like a mathematical prism, splitting complex data into clear wavy components. Measure theory is about quantifying size, length, area, volume in a rigorous way. Developed by Lebesgue in the early 20th century, it generalizes integration beyond Riemann's approach, handling wild functions that defy simpler methods. 
Key concepts include measures, measurable functions, and Lebesgue integration. It's the foundation of modern probability, where events are assigned measures and it underpins functional analysis. For example, Lebesgue's integration allows us to integrate functions with discontinuities that Riemann can't handle. Its applications range from physics to data science, where it supports statistical models. Measure theory feels abstract, but gives us a universal language for how much in math. Probability and stochastic analysis. This is the mathematics of randomness, modeling uncertainty with precision. Emerging in the 17th century with Pascal and Fermat, it studies random variables, probability spaces, and processes like Brownian motion or Markov chains. Key concepts include expectation, variance, and martingales. It's essential in finance for pricing options, in biology for population models, and in machine learning for algorithms. For example, stochastic differential equations model stock prices with random fluctuation. Unlike deterministic analysis, it embraces chance, making it a dynamic tool for unpredictable systems. It's like playing dice with the universe, but with rigorous rules. Differential equations describe how things change, from planets orbiting to heat spreading. Originating with Newton and Leibniz, they come in two flavors. Ordinary ODEs for single variable systems and partial PDEs for multivariable ones. Key concepts include existence and uniqueness theorems, stability, and boundary value problems. They're the language of physics, modeling everything from waves to quantum systems, and engineering, like circuit design. For example, the heat equation predicts how temperature evolves over time. Solving these equations often blends real, numerical, and functional analysis, making it a crossroads of mathematical ideas. Calculus of variations. This is about finding the best path or shape, like the shortest route or minimal surface. Developed in the 18th century by Euler and Lagrange, it optimizes functionals functions of functions. The Euler-Lagrange equation is its core tool, solving problems like the brachistochrone, the fastest descent curve. It's used in physics for Lagrangian mechanics and in engineering for optimal control. For example, it helps design fuel-efficient spacecraft trajectories. Unlike standard calculus, it optimizes over infinite possibilities, making it a powerful but abstract tool for efficiency. Operator theory studies transformations on function spaces, like stretching or rotating functions. A subset of functional analysis, it focuses on operators in Banach or Hilbert spaces, with roots in 20th century quantum mechanics. Key concepts include bounded operators, spectral theory, and operator algebras. It's crucial for solving differential equations and modeling quantum systems, where operators represent physical observables. For example, the Schrodinger operator describes a particle's energy. Operator theory feels like linear algebra on steroids, turning functions into infinite dimensional vectors. Nonlinear analysis tackles systems where outputs don't scale linearly with inputs, like turbulent fluids or chaotic pendulums. Emerging in the 20th century, it uses tools like fixed point theorems and bifurcation theory. Key concepts include nonlinear PDEs, chaos, and stability analysis. It's vital in meteorology, biology, and economics, where systems behave unpredictably. For example, the Navier Stokes equations model fluid flow but resist complete solutions. Geometric analysis blends calculus with geometry, often on curved spaces like manifolds. Growing in the 20th century, it studies PDEs on geometric structures, like minimal surfaces or curvature flows. Key concepts include the Laplace operator on manifolds and Ricci flow, famously used in proving the Poincaré conjecture. It's applied in general relativity and computer graphics. For example, solving the heat equation on a sphere models heat diffusion on curved surfaces. Asymptotic analysis studies how functions behave as inputs grow large or approach limits. Developed in the 19th century, it uses tools like asymptotic expansions and big O notation. It's key in approximating integrals or solutions in physics and engineering. For example, Stirling's approximation estimates factorials for large numbers. Time series analysis studies data collected over time, like stock prices or weather patterns. Rooted in statistics, it uses tools like autocorrelation and ARIMA models to forecast trends. Developed in the 20th century, it's crucial in economics, meteorology, and finance. For example, an ARIMA model predicts future sales based on past data. Unlike static analysis, it captures temporal dynamics, making it essential for understanding evolving systems. Multivariable and vector analysis. This extends calculus to multiple variables and vector fields, handling functions of several inputs. Emerging with vector calculus in the 19th century, it includes tools like partial derivatives, multiple integrals, and Stokes' theorem. It's used in electromagnetism and fluid dynamics, modeling fields like electric or velocity flows. Topological analysis studies properties preserved under continuous deformations, like stretching or bending, in topological spaces. 
Rooted in 19th century work by Poincaré, it includes concepts like compactness, connectedness, and homotopy. It's used in dynamical systems and algebraic topology. For example, topological degree theory finds fixed points in complex systems. Unlike geometric analysis, it ignores rigid shapes, focusing on abstract structure, making it a flexible tool for qualitative problems. Dynamical systems study how systems evolve over time, often via differential or difference equations. Emerging in the 19th century with Poincaré, control theory designs systems to achieve desired behaviors, like stabilizing a rocket. Developed in the 20th century, it uses feedback, stability analysis, and optimal control. Key tools include Lyapunov methods and state space models. It's applied in robotics, aerospace, and economics. For example, a PID controller keeps a drone steady. Unlike pure analysis, it's about steering systems, blending math with engineering precision. Wavelet analysis decomposes signals into localized waves, offering a time frequency view. Emerging in the 1980s, it uses wavelet transforms and multi-resolution analysis. It's key in image compression, like JPEG 2000 and signal denoising. 